in Tableau 2021.2, Tableau finally added bulk rename for Tableau Prep in Tableau Prep Builder and Tableau Prep in the browser through web authoring. In this video, I'm going to show you how it all works. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so we're going to do this in Tableau Web Authoring to start with. Once we're in the interface, everything's exactly the same in Tableau Prep Builder. Um, I'm going to go over here to the Explore tab. I'm going to find my flows by going to the top level projects drop down and actually selecting all flows. This will show me three flows. I've got two drafts, one that I haven't finished and a Superstore as well. So I'm actually going to open this one. I built this back in April. And you can see it's a very simple flow. It gets data from uh, Superstore sales from different regions and blends them into one data source. It's actually the sample flow in Tableau Prep. Now, if I go ahead and edit this flow, annoyingly it opens up a new tab. So we'll just go with this. And once we're in, you can see that this interface is pretty much exactly the same as Tableau Prep Builder for the desktop. Now, one of the things you might do is you might rename fields that come out from a specific database or that have been prepped in a specific way. Let's say you're doing a bunch of finance calculations and you know these calculations are only for finance. You might add a prefix or a suffix to say FR or finance, just to make sure that it's clear that those are finance related. So what I wanna do here is actually add a prefix to all the things that are coming from our different regions. So if I just add a little plus here, you'll see that I get a range of new dropdowns now. This list of drop down items is actually getting bigger and bigger. And it's actually quite impressive because um, Tableau is really listening to feedback and they're adding features to Tableau Prep all the time. So what I'm actually going to do is add a clean step. Now, a clean step is just one of these sort of slim bars. And Tableau has this sort of visual design language here that is always the same. So clean steps are always these sort of uh, long bars. And as it just loads this data, you'll see that, again, this is exactly the same as Tableau Prep. Now, you'll see the option to rename fields just right here. So this is really important because before what you had to do is manually rename fields. What does that, what do I mean by that? Well, what I'd have to do is I actually have to go over here to the right hand side and have to switch to one of these views to get the field list in a much more sort of usable way. So I think this one on the right hand side is actually a list of fields. And then what I could do is I could double click on each of them and then manually rename them. Now that's fine if you've only got a few fields, but if you wanted to rename everything that was coming out of a particular output, that was a right pain. So now that we have this feature, I'm actually going to go back to my clean step. I'm going to go back to the standard view. and I'm just going to select rename field. And what it will do is actually give me this nice new interface. I've just highlighted it to here, you here on the left. And we have um, a bunch of options. So the first one is we have the ability to do this for each field. I can replace text. I can uh, do a bunch of other things as well. I can add a prefix and I can add a suffix. So let's say it's got the terminology ID and you want to change that to identifier. You can do that. So you can see here that I have row ID and order ID. And um, if I go ahead and replace text, I'm going to say that I want to find ID and I want to replace it with identifier. You can see that it applies the change and it shows you what's going to happen in real time. So it's a really, really nice feature. It's really nicely done. Um, and just doing that felt good. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've had to do this manually. And I also can't tell you how many flows I now need to revisit and make sure that they're using this rather than the manually rename feature. The reason I want to do that is because it also automatically rename new fields that come through. So the problem with the way that I was doing it is if a new field came in, I'd have to open the flow again, manually rename it. Now we've got an automated way of making sure that happens every single time. So this is this is a big feature. Like it should have been there from the start and Tableau Prep is still relatively new. We're now into our third year of the product. And um, yeah, this is finally here and we can start using it. And this is great. So. It's a really, really nice feature. Now you can do a bunch of other things. You can obviously change this. So I haven't actually applied these changes. Let's go back and I could say add a prefix. And because I'd already typed identifiers, it kept that in there. And now you can see that it's applied it to everything. If I just use my square here, everything here in this row, which is kind of nice. And of course you can add a space to that and you can add a dash and you can do whatever you want. And you can see it's dynamically changing the text. Suffix obviously goes at the end. So in this case, I might want to move my hyphen right to the beginning. If I just go over here and I just put that in front, you can see that that also works too. So this is nice. Uh, now let's rename uh, everything. I'm actually going to just close this and actually go back to replace text. I'm going to type in ID and I'm going to, can I, oh, no, I'm going to type in identifiers here. Um, 
Let's do this. Denty fires. I think I spelled that right. And we're just going to rename them. And I've ticked the box to automatically uh, rename fields. And so you can see that once it's renamed them, we actually get this new set of icons that shows that we've actually renamed them. And this is applied as a step change. So of course, if we go back to our interface as normal, you can see that we actually have this new step change here that applies. And of course, this can be brought into context with everything else. If you've done a bunch of other changes, you can actually drag this rename fields up and down this list to have it come into effect sooner or later, depending on when you want to rename fields. Bear in mind, if you do that and you've been relying on those names prior to the name change, then you change them before, then you're going to break your calculation. So just think about that before you do that. You might end up sort of bumping into new instances where things change. But again, if you're doing data prep, you're probably used to that. It's nothing to worry about, but it's just a nice quality of life improvement. Thank God it's finally here. I can't wait to use it. But my God, are there a lot of flows we're going to have to go fix. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Subscribe, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, and I'll catch you in the next video.